Common fractures of the radial neck, uh, you can get surgical or anatomic fractures, and they're usually divided into four parts as shown in this diagram. Children or in skeletally immature individuals, uh, if they have a fracture at the neck uh, through the epiphysis, just like any other long bone, they're considered a Salter-Harris fracture, uh, one through five. Uh, this shows only up to four. Five is a crush injury to the epiphysis itself. So this is an example. You can tell it's skeletally immature because you can see the growth plate still intact. So this is a Salter-Harris fracture. Dislocations are co quite common in athletic population. 95% of those are anterior and inferior. Uh, so if you had to make a bet which way this person dislocated, if you were to guess anterior, inferior, you'd probably be right. So the best x-ray to look at this, not only the AP and lateral, but uh, the Y view serves as the lateral view for this. So you can see displacement of the humeral head. Obviously, there's a sulcus sign in this patient, so you know there's a deformity, and this is a classic dislocation picture. Interestingly enough, not every patient needs imaging from dislocation, either pre-reduction films or post-reduction films. And there's a really nice study that showed which of my patients require either pre-reduction films or post-reduction films. 